Elevated levels of ALT is concerning and could be an indicator that you're not as healthy as you want to be. In this video, I'm gonna tell you the top seven reasons that your ALT may be elevated and then you can continue the investigation until you figure out the cause and get your ALT back to normal. Now, ALT stands for alanine transaminase, uh, ALT. Older doctors used to refer to it as SGPT, and some of the older docs may still call it that, but most of the new lab panels will list it as ALT now. On most reference lab ranges, a normal for a female patient is under 34, and for a male is under 45. Now, please be aware there are many, many things that could go wrong in your body and lead to an elevated ALT. Uh, but the, the two important things that I want you to take away from this video is that even if your ALT is just a little bit elevated, and your doctor says, ah, it's probably not a big deal. We'll just watch it and check it again next year. That's not okay. Your ALT should be normal. If it's not, if it's even slightly elevated, there's a problem somewhere that you need to ferret out with the help of a good doctor and get to the bottom of it and then ultimately reverse it. Now, these seven causes are the most common causes, and I'm also going to give you a bonus cause at the very end of this video that you can reverse very easily at home. So the number one most common cause of an elevated ALT, at least in the United States, is NAFLD or non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Some doctors are starting to call this metabolic associated fatty liver disease because it comes directly from uh, metabolic abnormalities caused by a high carbohydrate diet, and I think that's appropriate. Also, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH. Either of these can cause an elevated ALT and also elevations in other lab values. These are very concerning, uh, usually almost completely reversible, if not completely reversible, uh, and you need to continue to learn about these two causes and learn how to reverse them at home. Number two is taking a daily dose of an anti-inflammatory, an NSAID. This can be ibuprofen, Aleve, Naproxen, Celebrex, or any of the other prescription anti-inflammatories. If you're taking these every single day for arthritis or stiffness or pain, this is very hard on your liver and it can lead to an elevated uh, ALT. Also, if you're taking daily doses of acetaminophen or Tylenol. This can also overwork your liver and cause an elevated ALT. Number three is just drinking too much alcohol for you personally. And a lot of people don't think about this. They, you know, they think, well, I'm not an alcoholic. I mean, I, I just have a drink or two every day, just one or two beers or one or two mixed drinks or one or two cocktails for some of us that can be enough to elevate your ALT. This is an indicator that you're drinking too much alcohol for your personal liver physiology, and you need to cut that out. Number four is gonna be a controversial one, and that is taking a statin drug like Lipitor, Zocor, Crestor. For many of us, this can lead to a doubling or even a tripling of the ALT level. This is a sign that your liver is not happy with your statin abuse, and you probably should stop taking that medication. Obviously discuss that with your doctor. Number five is low thyroid function, hypothyroidism. Now this can, this can be uh, subclinical hypothyroidism. This can be undiagnosed hypothyroidism, or it can be undertreated hypothyroidism. Any of these three, can cause you to have an elevated ALT. And so if you've got an elevated ALT and no other reason, you've got to get a full thyroid panel that I talk about in other thyroid videos on this channel and get to the bottom of your thyroid issue because that can absolutely cause an elevated ALT. Number six is congestive heart failure, CHF. And this can be even mild, undiagnosed CHF or heart failure this can cause an elevation in your ALT. And so the heart is one of the many things that has to be inve investigated if you have 
an ALT without an apparent cause. Then number seven is if you have either diagnosed or undiagnosed hepatitis A, B, or C. Some of these are acute and uh, short-lived. Uh, some of the other hepatitises are uh, chronic and long-lived. You need to have your liver thoroughly evaluated for any of the hepatitises if you have an elevated ALT. And then the bonus cause is a choline deficiency. Yeah, many of us can suffer from that, especially people on a vegan diet or a wholly plant-based diet. You can have a choline deficiency. Some people, we can synthesize choline better than others. And so if you've got an elevated ALT and you're on a vegan diet or a whole foods plant-based diet, you probably need to take a choline supplement or better yet, just eat some meat. I've got a video on this channel about choline rich foods. So that's the list. If you have an elevated ALT, even one point high, you need to think about and investigate this entire list and because you might have more than one cause, right? So you need to find a learned health partner. That's how you should think of your doctor. And you need to go over this entire list and then anything else the doctor thinks should be investigated is fair game. Hope this video helps a lot. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.